Oh hey. <laughs> Hello. It's uh we got Joey and Ethan here. We're here for the uh, the shitty show podcast. How you doing guys? What's Me up? Me too. How you doing, Ethan? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You All doing right. good? Uh, I, I don't know if I would call this much of a podcast though, Joe. Not yet. I don't know what I'd call it. Not yet. I I, call I, it I think ranting. I I think I know what this is. What th- is it? I think it's time we take on the worst of the worst. Are we going for him? Are we going for Big D? We're gonna take the Big D. Not... We're gonna take the Big D tonight. <laughs> big D tonight. <laughs> we're taking Big D tonight, boys. It, it, it's it's almost ten thirty Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. And we're gonna take the Big D tonight. <laughs> the big D. I'm ready. You know what I always say it's always time for a Big D. It's always time to be slobbing on the Big D. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna slobber we do, we all over the Big D. <laughs> the first six minutes are just gonna be us describing the big, the big D. D. By the way, if you guys if you guys didn't know who the Big D is, that's first of all that's my other alias. No, uh, <laughs> Disney. The Big D is Disney. The worst. Now I love Star Wars, and I love Marvel as much as anyone else who doesn't like Marvel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Disney's the Big D, and we're taking it all right. We're Look, taking it today. And I'd have right to now. I'd have to agree with Joe. I do like Star Wars. And I might like and I might like Marvel a little bit more than he does, Probably. but it's, it's on the steady no. it's on the steady decline though. It's it's yeah, a non it. it's a nonstop insufferable chain of regurgitated <laughs> ass water. I love, just, I love it, drinking me some good old big, big D ass water. Yeah, all right. What do you think of the uh, the old Big D Doctor Strange? So yeah, um, that big one. Ben, big ah. Ben. That was like uh, pretty, pretty mid, mid, mid to like, it was like high end mid. You're not going to see it. Uh, let's do it. I was right? gonna say, I've, I've uh, <laughs> as, everyone knows, as everyone knows out there, I'm a man of culture, so I'm giving my opinion based purely on. Oh, my shirt's undone. Purely on. <coughs> oh. What I think of it. Dude. I didn't watch the trailer. I don't plan on watching the trailer or the movie, because I didn't like the first one. I fell asleep. I love Benedict Cumber uh, Cumbersnatch, Benelin, ben- Benelin Cumbersnatch. Cumbersnatch, whatever his name is. He's okay. I like him a lot in Sherlock. I liked him a lot as Smaug. Um, you know, in the I don't think Cumber. Like I don't think Cumbersnatch he's played. He's the voice of Smog. No, 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 Cumbersnatch, the voice of. Uh, don't think he was Smaug. Sherlock. I don't think he was Sherlock. He was Sherlock in the in the Netflix show, with. Um, Whatever James Martin That's, is that a name? The guy from The Hobbit as well. <laughs> the midget? I mean the <laughs> the. Uh, no, I, I don't know the if that's halfling. Bro. You mean The Hobbit? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Oh, Liam yeah. Neeson. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson from The Hobbit. Yeah, I like yeah, I like Benedict. I like Benelin. Benelin ben- uh, Cumberbatch <laughs> quite a bit, but he did not blow me away. In Doctor Strange because I fell asleep halfway through it. Well, the concept already I, bored me. I was uh, I was into the first Doctor Strange. I would say that. I was but... out for the first Doctor Strange. <laughs> Watching the backside of your time. eyelids. Anyways, yeah, it was the first the first that. the first one was good, but I think uh, I, I'm a little bit Disney exhausted from the like from I the said big D? the re- yeah I'm exhausted from the Big D. Uh, it does that to people. I Moon Knight. You thought Moon Knight was a little bit higher than mid, didn't you? At least I thought it was okay. There was definitely like it was started strong. I was I went into it thinking this is gonna suck, but it started pretty good. I was like, you know what, first two three episodes, this is pretty cool, and then it got a little less on the cool side. I fell asleep for like three episodes, <laughs> uh, halfway through multiple times for a what, couple of the episodes, and then you, they were the spoilers you, in this show, by the way. Do you think? Um, do you think? Do you think going oh, into the Big D shows, if you go into the Big D, taking the Big D with with if, a less high, like a, with a less high, uh, what's it called? Expectation. Do you do you think it makes it easier? Like it easier to like the show? It's easier to take the Big D if you don't want it to be good. <laughs> if you don't expect big things from the Big D, it it can blow you away. It can blow your mind sometimes. At, at uh, times, I I think. That definitely helps. Like, I didn't go into it thinking, I'm going to hate this. I can't wait. But I went into it thinking, oh, here we go. Another Disney Marvel show. Can't wait to watch it, I guess. Though, I, to be fair, I was like, Moon Knight kind of looks like Batman, and that's cool to me. White Batman. I'll take it. Whatever. 
a little bit on the racist side. Still e- cool. Egyptian, uh, Egyptian Batman. Egyptian Batman. Um, but I gotta say, spoiler alert, this show will probably have a lot of them. They definitely lost me when they did the old Disney, let's kill them and then unkill them again. I loved seeing characters not die all that's, the time. That's, that's, a, cla- cool to me. that's a classic. Classic. Anyway, anyways, yeah. I love I, Sleeping Beauty, bro. I was the way, the same best way. I don't. I, I didn't even watch the last episode. I don't think. And that's actually, actually, for the last, the last two Disney shows. I, that's the same way both times. Was I, Hawkeye the other one? Yeah, yeah. Hawkeye. I watched one and a half episodes of that. Ha- Hawkeye. I so... Hawkeye. I got to whatever the ninth or the sixth episode, whatever it was, and I didn't watch the last episode. And then I was upset because Hawkeye is cool. I love Hawkeye. I used he was my favorite Avenger when the first movie came out. And then Ronan happened. I was like, that's sick. And then Hawkeye show happened. And I was like, dang, this is not good. So, anyways, yeah. Anyways, and then so then I watched Moon Knight. Was disappointed. And then I went to see Doctor Strange. Low expectations. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. There's a couple of cool cameos. John Krasinski was cool. And the second one. Seeing, I like that guy. Seeing Professor X was and, cool. I think the Illuminati that was a cool touch. It was interesting. It'll, I think it could they could tie a lot of shit in that might interest me. I know we talked another time, and I said, "Would I, I asked you, would it be cool if they started like an X Men series that's in the MCU but disconnected? You're not interested because you don't like X Men. I, I think I think having an X Men series that's in the MCU with the same production value as an MCU series, and maybe not, and maybe if they could steer away from the killing off bringing people back it could be a refreshing take you could bring deadpool in that way um yeah but anyways uh, other than that um i would like to see john krasinski i love uh i love uh parks and rec a lot uh so maybe i will see that movie (laughs) i liked him as a as jim in parks and rec um but uh i'd probably watch the second doctor strange just for that part (laughs) But I really don't have a lot of expectations for it. Like, I don't like the superpowers. No. I mean, like, same with Fantastic Four and X-Men and all that. <sighs> a lot of those just seem like Discount Avengers. And at this point, Avengers seems like Discount Avengers. So I don't... Yeah, I that's don't true. <laughs> yeah, I think I I think I kind of checked out... I think I ca- checked out when, uh, like, my, my, Endgame. my... Endgame. Easily Endgame. Maybe even Infinity War. I mean, actually, no. It was, Endgame. It was definitely Endgame. But then it was like... You know, it was a great ending to all the importance. St- like it, it wrapped up everything, like the Thanos timeline or whatever, the the Infinity War timeline. Phase three, you know, or whatever. Phase yeah, four. well, Phase forty five or whatever the frig it was. Phase seventy three. Whatever phase we're phase. whatever we're on now. Anyways, it it, it resumed everything. But then after that, I've, they've just really struggled to make me care again. I just don't care. Like I gotta say. I gotta say, when I watched Infinity War, it took me like six months to get around to it, and then Endgame took me even longer. I watched it, and I was like, this is awful, and then Endgame came around, and I was like, wow, I am I might watch that, and I did, but I don't think I even watched it until I moved in with Ryan, Yeah, my roommate. And anyways, yeah, that was, so honestly, man, disappointed on the, st- on the, on the Marvel, st- on the Marvel front, um... Same thing even goes for Star Wars. I'm kind of... Uh, Star Wars is blowing me away. Star Wars is blowing my back out on the daily. No, it's not. All right. I love the sequels. I love I love Ray Palpatine. Very cool. I love I'm, I'm not even... I'm, honest, honestly, man, I'm not even talking about that. Because, like, I'm not even going to... I'm not even not going to, like... I'm not even going to talk about that. I'll talk about Mandal- Man- Mandalorian. That You know what? I'll be honest. That impressed me. But again, but again, Mandalorian is starting to suffer from the same, the same shit that Marvel's now. It's all about cameos. It's all about fan yep. service, and it's not about story anymore. Uh, and I love seeing Tatooine. I, 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 as much I, as much as I love to see whatever Thrawn or whoever's going to show up next, that you know that's all <laughs> great and cool. You know, Cad Bane, that's cool. Whatever. I, was, I like that. And I guess that was Boba Fett, but anyways, it it's just following mm-hmm. this this shitty, perpetuated, never ending cycle of the same ass garbage water. <laughs> and, I liked and, the first season, like down to fault, loved it. Oh but yeah, the amen. Season, you know when it lost me, Luke Skywalker. Actually, that was first season technically, but when he came back, especially in oh yeah, I'm thinking of the book of Boba Fett. I don't even know, but Luke Skywalker. Oh no! Yeah, that's... I was like, okay, this is a little too, a little too. Brilliant. Wait, no, 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 no. Luke, 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 well. Luke was end of season two. End of season two. I was how, thinking how, how many seasons? Two, how, many, how many? How many? 
How many seasons was there now? There's two, and then there's the Book of Boba Fett two episodes that so, have like Luke Skywalker. So, so you mean three? You mean uh, so you mean season two one, two seasons. season one, two, and two point five, because the majority yeah. of Book uh, of Boba Fett was. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I, I watched that show. I love the first couple episodes. I love Boba Fett. He's been my favorite character since I was like a fetus. I don't know, six years old. I was like that guy looks like a badass. Right. Loved him ever since. Um, and I love the start of the show. I gotta say it was great, but I did not like the part where. Boba Fett was not in his own show for an entire episode and a half. That part was not awesome, it, to be honest. Not the best. Took Maybe took you out of your mood. Especially mood. considering Mandalorian has two seasons and another on the way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Two of seven episode series on Mando. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I I know, but I think I think you and I have talked before, and I think we both agree that uh, that episode was awesome, though. If it was a Mandalorian, it was if it was a Mandalorian uh, episode. That was my problem. Like, if, if you don't consider the fact that they wasted this much of, of the Boba Fett show, which could have been so much more, and you just see it as the Mandalorian season 2.5, it was great. I loved Amazing. it. I loved seeing Mando walk in with the, with the saber. Like, yeah. This is sick. And, and, I, I and maybe, and with, maybe, um, maybe we, could a, we could accredit that to Bryce Dallas Howard making the episode. She always does amazing episodes. I, th- I think we yeah. both can agree with that. I, I, you might actually have some hot takes actually about i usually do about I, I, about uh somebody that flipping boba fett on his back oh yeah no. yeah no, l- let's boba not Tan is the worst no nah, don't I, make boba fett nah suck. bro let's start nah. a campaign for star wars guys yeah. make boba fett cool again because yeah I but love, you, I love dude you also Tomorrow have to wars you also have to remember bro he was he was sick he hadn't been to the back to tank yet he was sick uh, yeah, he wasn't yeah, in the back to take, bro. Thing I go you have to. Like, all, you also have to remember, bro. He he got clapped by like four, four mm-hmm. like Tatooine ninjas, bro. All right, Tatooine ninjas. Yeah, I, the, uh, I think the that's sand the, people. I, I think that's what that was, right? <laughs> Tattoo ninjas, bro. They're sick. <laughs> the yeah, the sand the, the sand the village hidden in the sand the sand <laughs> the village hidden from the village hidden in the sand, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Anyway, they, they jutsu on him. I gotta say, like, like Star Wars is doing a little better than Man- in Marvel, in my opinion. Little, I I, little I would better. agree, but I also better. think like, it's there's definitely problems. But wait, but you have to think about it this way. I didn't even really think about this till right now. How long has Marvel been going with their That's MCU? True. It what was that? When what, when did when did Iron Man come out? Iron Man came out like what two thousand? I don't even I know. Two thousand nine, two thousand nine, maybe. Whatever it was, it was before two thousand ten. Dude, they've Star had, been a long they've time, had, they've had, no, but, but like, we're talking about like, uh, what's his name? In who, terms of film time. Who, who makes all this stuff? Uh, Big D? No, the guy who works for Big D. MCU hero. John Favreau. Oh. John Favreau. Yeah, I like him. John Favreau like is good, but bro, he's the reason. He's, Mando. he's the, but think about this. What, what's Star Wars multimedia going to look like in 10 years? That's what worries me. They're going, like, ever since they got bought by Disney, Episode 7 was phenomenal. 8, 9, no. But, uh, ever since Disney bought Star Wars, it has had a lot of content, I'll give it that. The shows are, like, the fact that they brought yeah, but the only back and they made Mando was good. Yeah, but, but the only, you know why the only reason that is. The only yeah, reason they're making so much all, content. It's so they can intertwine it like Marvel and make... All the cameos happen. All the money machine will be printing. Yeah, think about oh, bro, think about all the action figures, bro. Think think about all the, think about when I can buy the black series, the black series three hundred dollars dark saber, bro. Dude, it's gonna be big money for Big D. (laughs) That's what he loves. Yeah, there's nothing the Big D loves more than cash money. They're like, they're like, we could hard cash money. Big D's like we could we could make a season where it actually has a good story and have no cameos but then they'd be like how do we make the new black series line hasbro action figures if we can't have a thrawn build a figure bro we We have to to bring luke skywalker back yeah dude just just so we can sell a new version of luke skywalker i know he's an old guy now but we gotta make him young again just to bring him back and have grogu meet him and then not meet him (laughs) and not train with him at all we have to it's not not avoidable okay we can't do Mace Windu or anything, which I thought would have been a lot cooler. All right, so let's let's talk about something else. Same topic, but I believe it's coming out. Is it next week or the week after? Morbius. 
No, bro. Not Morbius. <laughs> Dang, I can't wait for Morbius. Oh, Obi Wan. Oh, that's coming out uh, like the day after your wedding or something, the day before. So I might not be. I might be a little late to it. That's um, fine. I, honestly, but... I think I'm fine with being late to it. Although that I love uh, Ewan McGregor. Love him. I, I absolutely. I'm late to the wedding because I'm gonna watch this show. Oh, during it. <laughs> oh, that's un... no, un... no. understood. Understood. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll just be on my my phone in the corner for part of it. Understood. Maybe we'll skip. Maybe we'll skip the wedding, and maybe we'll just play it on the big screen. Oh, you could say your vows. I <laughs> you'll be, you'll be like. I have a bad feeling about this. I know, or I love you. I know, or some kind of Star Wars reference. And then I'll go, and I'll go, hello, Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Kenobi. <laughs> What's that? Kenobi. <laughs> like Darth Maul. Yeah. Anyways. If anyone has anything to say, step up now, and then Darth Maul bursts in the door. <laughs> no, bro. Some, like, if, if anybody has any of, uh, objections to this, and then somebody will go stand up and go, hello there. Hello there. <laughs> hello there. Oh, jeez. General Kenobi. <laughs> That's what I'll say. Nice. Anyways, no, an- say hello there. anyways, <laughs> so what do you think? What are you expecting to come from this show? So, with it, this with it, hot take. I, hot take. I love you, McGregor. No, that wasn't the hot take part. I love you, and I love uh, Hayden Christensen. I'm really excited to see them both. I'm not really excited to watch live action Marvel comics. Because they're definitely going to make Obi-Wan fight Darth Vader and Palpatine and Jar Jar and all this. When in reality, what it should have been is he stayed in the desert for 20 years to watch over Luke. Well, nothing happened. Because it's Tatooine. Nothing happens on Tatooine. Yeah, because techni- te- te- technically, if they, find, if they find him there... They know he's there. Like, why... if Darth Vader finds out an old guy's living on Tatooine, chances are someone else important is on Tatooine. Maybe he, one of his two kids. Yeah. Like... Yeah, this this is true. It pissed me off. Or even, but even, but even if they knew that he was there, would they not continue to send people to kill him? That's kind of like the whole deal. That's what I'm saying. If they know Obi Wan's there, worst case scenario, like he finds out Obi Wan's there, you know Anakin or you know Darth Vader, he would have been like, okay, sweet, let's hop this shit up and send in three ATATs. Like we're we're not fucking around. If Obi Wan's yeah. there, his old master, yeah, exactly. the one guy who could exactly. cut off his legs. Yeah, there's no way he was like, yeah, let's send him, send one Inquisitor. That'll deal with it for sure. I don't like. Anyways. And then that also makes their meeting in episode four pretty weak too. Like uh, I thought they were meeting for the first time in twenty years, but no, they met like five times for coffee between them. Like yeah, true that. Anyways, I, I'm just I I seen um what is he the Grand Inquisitor? Is that is that his name? One of them? Is is that yeah, who he's the, the bald guy? Vin Diesel. Yeah, yeah, he looked pretty mid, pretty mid in the first trailer. Yeah. I will I will lay will say that it definitely improved on the second episode. You got the. Uh, he got the chubby face treatment that Cad Bane got, but I think yeah. it's starting to make sense to me because like Clone Wars is so stylized, they all got the long faces. Yeah, but here's the deal. But at the same he, time, it looks weird. Here's the deal. So tell me this: he's an alien, right? Have we seen that type of alien before besides in Clone War? I think he was the. Um, I might be wrong. He might be the same species as the guys on Utapau. Okay, but have we seen them elsewhere besides Clone Wars? The Utapalans were in the third movie. You remember really? the long guys that he's here when General Grievous is hiding there? Oh, potentially? Maybe, maybe. No, so no, 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 no. That was not course. it. They had the weird wrinkly lines, but. Maybe. I feel like we saw a species. But I don't know. Maybe not. Anyways. You could definitely translate it differently and make their faces longer. I know, I know you, I know you and I have had conversations back and forth about this before where yeah. you disagree and I, and I think whatever like i think i think you and i found like a a general uh, like a a meteor meteor ground on cad bane i think you and i both agreed that maybe because of his age he could have changed a little bit but like you you seen the footage of like i believe it was like a remade one yeah it was a remade one by a private like uh a private guy in a laptop yeah so i i don't know i i just think it's like how could you miss that i mean it was a popular opinion that it didn't look right that's why, it, like, it doesn't seem like they cheaped out to me. If if they see that needs to make it correctly, I feel like they looked into it and said, like, we gotta de-stylize it somehow, which is weird because they're reverse engineering it. Uh, de-stylize it and change up the lighting just to make it feel not because it would look no, would but look it, a little weird if it matched it. But here's the deal, man. When I seen it, it took me out of it because I was like, this mm-hmm. doesn't look like Cad Bane to me. 
I was, you know, what took me out of it is his blue gauntlets. His light oh, blue yeah. gauntlets. Oh yeah, dude, it's they like look gun metal gray. Dude, they look like they look like Hasbro Hasbro they toys do. Nerf gun. They remind me of the of the Metroid, uh, the Samus cannon that you could buy. For it's sure. It's like grayish green in the games, but it's like bright green. And, and I, I almost bought it, but then I looked at the color and it was just just mid. It was worse than mid. It was like neon green or some shit. I was like, Ugh. yeah. Just anyways. to make sure that it doesn't look like a real one. So a real hand cannon. So to be honest, man, not not super looking forward to Obi Wan. Honestly, but I think that's just the state with the big D, man. I think I've given up. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm growing up. Maybe it's because I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'm just D. tired. Maybe I'm yeah. Maybe I'm just tired of regurgitating the same D all the time. I'm sick of taking the same D day in day out. Yeah, bro. In and out. Yeah, in bro. and out with the same D all the time. Yeah, yep. and, and you know, know what? And on, honestly, man, Disney has been doing some other shit that's just kind of like, it's kind of like you know, yeah. you're not a. Isn't you're like kinda... Breaking Bad on Disney now? I no, like I, I don't think that's that's shit, Netflix. Like... No, I, I heard about some shit coming on Disney that I was like, that does not fit. Yeah, Disney Plus or something. But uh, no, I just see like some other shit like the Dumb Dumbledore stuff and like the. <laughs> And the yeah. uh, it just being a ch- bunch of sellouts, man. Like that. Actually, let's talk mm. about something with the Doc- yeah. Doctor Strange. So I don't. You haven't seen it, but there's uh, what's was it Miss Marvel? Miss Marvel, right? I love Miss Marvel. I can't wait. Gonna see that when it comes out. So so, anyways, Miss Marvel. She she through the whole movie. She's got this uh, like LGBTQ plus q flag with the trans flag with it or, or whatever i'm not too versed on it East, yeah. and and whatnot and there's a scene there where they go through this this thing where it's like it's like whatever you stand on it and then it shows you a significant memory from your head on a projector screen so whatever dr okay. strange dr strange stands on it and it's the dinner with uh I, th- I believe it's christine before he kills her in the first movie by driving off the cliff okay. or the car accident anyways when she stands okay. on there she's like oh my gosh it's my two moms and then, and then whatever, she basically kills her moms or whatever, sends oh. them, sends them away in a portal because of her power. She doesn't have to control it anyways, but it's kind of like the Dumbledore thing. I just heard that China asked Disney if they could remove the 10 second clip of Dumbledore somehow insinuating that he was, uh, a homosexual or whatever. I don't know. I, I never seen, I, I goes up and says, Harry, I'm gay. Yeah. And then he goes, that's great. Dumbledore. <laughs> and then they move on and then they just crop that and, out. And, yeah so, event, yeah. so anyways uh master zing master zing Peng, or whatever <laughs> zing, ping, love that guy. zing ping showed zing. up and he said big d please remove gay scene we don't like gays and big disney this big conglomerate you know pro pro gay pro everything says yes master yes master money Bing we, chilling, we, bing chilling, yeah. loud grandma. Social, social credit, social credit. Yes, please. <laughs> Taiwan is not a real country. Yeah. <laughs> they just, oh, they just, uh, yeah. It's like the, the places that, you know, people that are be bitching about like gay rights or whatever, the places where it actually matters to be fought and for these big, yeah. big things. I guarantee you, whatever month it is, November or whatever, whenever gay month is, but they, like June. I bet, I bet, I bet you, I bet you, have you ever seen those, um, those pictures where they, like, so they'll have, like, TSN, they'll have, uh, Visa, they'll have Starbucks, they have all the gay logos, right? And then they'll show, like, TSN China, they'll show Starbucks (laughs) China, and then they don't change, bro. Because you know what? Makes you wonder. Here, here, here's, I'll, I'll straighten it out for you. I'll straighten it for all you people. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't say straighten it out. Sorry, listen. I'll curve it. I'll anymore. get a curvy wervy for you. All right. There you go. They don't care. The reason they care is because you buy yeah. shit when they do that for you. All right. Yep. And, and I know that's really. Ruin Skittles took the. the... Ruin Skittles took the rainbow out of Skittles. Because the because the only thing that mattered was. Okay? Yeah, dude. That was so <laughs> Skittles are homophobic, bro. They're done. They're done. <laughs> yeah. Cancel Skittles. I'll never buy another pack of Skittles yeah. again. It makes me think of, uh, I remember hearing, I don't know personally, but I heard about the uh, the Rise of Skywalker, one of the new movies, uh, new movies, I guess, of like 2017. I think it was Force Awakens. Uh, they made Finn really small on the Chinese poster. He's like a main <laughs> character. And I guess they're still not about that in China. So Jim Finn said, 
break that one down crop that out a little bit they're like get that get get the black one out of there <laughs> yeah, really. yeah do that china come on guys dude it's just like it's like man I heard just, they made Mulan next to an internment camp too. I don't know. If they did. That is true, bro. Have you seen really? the pi- have you seen the picture of that? Like no, they've got the they've got out. the scene right where they're recording, and then it's like if you pan over, there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a, a Muslim internment <laughs> camp like right over to the right. Lao <laughs> gun, my boys. <laughs> social social chilling. credit, bro. There's <laughs> a credit going right up there. That what, is not being chilling, I gotta say. What's that, uh, what's the, what's the massacre of what, of what square? You ever heard Dude, that? Dude, can't say that. What we is it? What, what is it? What is it? What is it? Tiananmen Square. Whoa! It didn't happen, it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Social credit. <laughs> oh no, I can feel everything's turning red. They got their, they got their sights on me. John, John, John Zena, bro. <laughs> oh no, bro, everything's oh. turning red. I love China. Bing. Yeah, <laughs> bro. It's like China did something wrong. Bing. <laughs> Dude, you're just gonna feel. You're gonna look at your internet router and just start burning out. Suddenly, my IP is gonna be leaked. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Dude, you're gonna get. You're gonna get swatted, bro. <laughs> Sorry, Jinping. I already know where I live. <laughs> good, good try, buddy. Good try, though. Good try. So yeah. I, I so just, when are you going to China? Not, we're not allowed to. I was already banned. Like, I just got. I think we just got banned. Yeah, I think we just revoked our our right to go to China. Dude, I think we just revoked our passes to Disneyland. Yeah, Disney's gonna kick us out. Dude, is it true that is it true that you have to have, you have to have kids with you to go to Disneyland? Is that true? No, I've heard of people going there for like their honeymoons. That's pretty mid. I think Stampy did that actually. That's <laughs> could, pretty mid. You're not doing could, that for years. Could you could you imagine, bro? Like any Can place, any place on the honeymoon? whole world to go, any place it's on the magical. whole, yeah, magical. I'm you sure, should go buddy. to the internment camps in China and instead. Dude, that's <laughs> dude. It's Disneyland. It's Disneyland for Muslims. Dude. <clears throat> but it is near. It is. Disneyland. <laughs> 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 just got up with me. <laughs> 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 It is near Legoland, though, and yeah. I'm a big Lego guy, so I'll take it. So what? You get to pick the the Mulan Mulan set, Disneyland for Muslims or Legoland? Make your pick. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take Legoland probably. Depends yeah, me, me too, bro. I'm not Muslim. So I'm are not you li- taking I, me? Uh, I'm not allowed to go. You in. No. Will they? Uh, Actually, will you take me to I, Disneyland for your honeymoon. Sure. I think they're gonna stop us at the door. <laughs> they're gonna pat us down. You gotta get a wire on you, and then they're gonna put us to a back room and chop our heads off. Actually, actually, man, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I just remembered a funny ass story. Some guy just told me at work. It's a bit of a rant, a bit of a tangent. We're gonna come up. We're gonna go off the record. We're not off the record, but we're gonna go off the script here. We're definitely on the record. So, so this guy, this guy, this guy that works at, in my, in the stores at my at my work, whatever. Yeah. We're talking about Disneyland and. Uh, He's telling me, I was telling him about like where my family usually goes when we go to Florida and it's like near Disneyland. Anyways, he says like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do the same thing. And you know, I'm like, so like on the main road, there's all these stores and they sell like bootleg Disneyland gear, like for like, oh, for like dirt cheap. Anyways, he like brought, rat? so he was telling me, he was telling me, right? He, he, uh, <laughs> what did you say? Minky rat and monkey mouse. <laughs> They don't, have, they don't have Mickey Mouse. They have Mickey Rat. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I got my Mickey yeah, Rat shirt on. The dog. They got. They don't have Goofy. They have Silly though. Anyways, anyways. So he's telling me he went in there and he found a uh, a Mickey Mouse shirt. It's big Mickey Mouse on the front, right? And it's Mickey <laughs> Mouse going like this. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> can you see where the Can you see where the story's going yet? Some so, Disney bought Star Wars, bro. <laughs> Bro, that's Disney. When I say that's Disney, when I say I want a, I want a good, a good show. A good it's show. Just this. They won't make a lot of money. <laughs> what do you mean you can't film next to the tournament camps in China? <laughs> Dude, they, hey, they could only film in the night because the screaming from the internet camps were oh, ruining the no, footage. No, it's even worse in the night. <laughs> it's even worse than the night. So you have to Photoshop the night scenes, make it all darker. 
So anyways, anyways. After Effects. So can you see where the story's going yet? No? Um, and, I'm, anyways, I'm so so he buys he buys the Mickey Mouse shirt with the with the flip and the bird. Anyways, he says oh, he's he, going into Disney. <laughs> <laughs> no. You can't do that. They're gonna feed him so, up. so he goes to you, Disney, right? <coughs> he says he makes it six steps through the gate and two security guards, like seven feet tall. And then they come in. They come in. They grab him. They drag him to the side. And they go, they go, they, go, they look at him. And they go, what the? They go, what the fuck is that? They're like, he's like, it's my Mickey Mouse shirt. And they go, they go, what the? Oh, they, go, they go, what the fuck are you thinking? You think you, they're like, get out of here. They try to kick him. He goes, he goes, he goes, dude, I got my girlfriend here. I brought her all the way from Canada. And anyway, so after pleading with him while they make him flip his shirt inside out. And they walk. They're like, all right, we're going to go to the gift shop and you're going to walk straight there and you're going to buy a shirt. And they made him walk around with this gay ass Disneyland shirt all day long. <laughs> real, like Disney, you cannot talk crap on Big D. We love Big D. And they, and they said they I just pictured two of the rocks walking in there <laughs> with the ball head and everything. It's about pride. It's about power. We stay hungry, Mickey Mouse. I don't know. Dude, I kind of, I kind of want one. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can quickly you find want a one. Longer, I want to. I want to. I want a Minky Minky Mouse. <laughs> Minky Rat. <laughs> it just says Big D on the back. It's about drive. It's about power. As they as they walk you to the gate to kick you out and beat your crap. And... <laughs> oh man, I wish two big burly men would assault me. What do we got there? Oh, it's me, Mickey. Fuck you, Disney. <laughs> Damn, is that real? Yeah, is bro. That real Disney, dude. That's 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 uh, <laughs> dude. That's uh, <laughs> that's Mickey Mickey Rat. <laughs> Mickey Rat, bro. I love Mickey Rat. <laughs> oh man. Dude, ima- just just imagine, just imagine your parents taking you all the way to Disney. They they take out their they take out their life savings to take you to to Disney, oh, but they can't the- they can't afford it, some t-shirts for the whole gang oh, to wear. No. So they pick up some Mickey Rat. They put up on the way. <laughs> they order they some. Timmy and Drano uh, by the scruff of his dude, neck. they they uh they order some uh they order some, some Mickey, Mickey Mouse Rat. shirts off the Alibaba, but they don't realize that it's <laughs> Minky Rat. <laughs> Oh, wish.com, bro. <laughs> we got off Craigslist. Mom be like, we got Disney at home. <laughs> Mickey Rat. We got Mickey Mouse at home. Uh, anyways. Whoa. Anyways. Uh, I can't wait to go to Disney. I'm chilling. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think, uh, you'll, see, you think you'll see, you think you'll see, uh, what's it the called? The day after this? <laughs> no. No, do you think you'll see, uh. Don't say you, Morbius. Do, yeah, Morbius. You think you're gonna I'm see Morbius? Seeing Morbius. I'm seeing that opening day. I Dude. would, I would curb stomp a taller to see Morbius. Right okay, now. okay, but you don't know what's more insufferable than all of this combined. Disney fans. There's the only thing that's worse than like Disney itself. Like fans of Disney content or fans like of Disney no Disney ad- Disney adults. Oh no. Do you remember no, Disney no, no, Disney no. adults? Have you ever seen that shit? Check Disney that for adults. Check, I saw that one online one time. Check that shit out on <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Minky Rat. <laughs> Minky Rat. <laughs> Minky Rat on, on Disney, Disney for, for adults. adults. <laughs> oh no. It's Disney after hours, bro. Anyways. Okay. If if you went to Disneyland, do you think you would see Captain Jack Sparrow there? Yes or no? I think I distinctly remember going on a Pirates of the Caribbean boat ride at Disney. Like okay, but I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking now after they completely swindled Johnny Depp out of a job because they didn't want to. Oh. They didn't want to have any negative connotation without. You I know, don't go in there dressed as Johnny Depp. As soon as soon. <laughs> what did you do? Said I'd go dressed up as Johnny Johnny Depp, do a bunch of crack, and then start beating women. <laughs> no, dude. No, dude. <coughs> Maybe not. No, dude. He didn't you'd, do it. So you do a bunch of cocaine and then you get your shit beat out of you by women. Disney <laughs> <laughs> moms in front of their children. I'm like, Mike, dude, could I, mate? <laughs> dude, <coughs> you'll be, um, show up just as Johnny Jap with your Mickey Rat shirt on. <laughs> get that shit out of you. With the hat and the, the, the Mickey Rat is in the ears. 
<laughs> I'd give him the finger and then the, the big old dick. Good night. Good night, mate. Uh, <laughs> how, uh, how, how, how about that, though? How about, how about Johnny Depp getting his bed shit on? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? Dude, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Yeah, dude. I was gonna say, there's some people like you and I, there's some people like you and I who pay for that shit. You know, literally, <laughs> literally pay for shit. Literally, literally pay for that shit. This guy, this like, guy's divorcing his wife. Over it. Ways. <laughs> Messed up, eh? Just because he doesn't get like getting spanked a little bit. Like. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't like getting beat around a little bit? You know. Jeez. Let's not beat around the bush, though. Literally, okay. literally. Um, li- how, who, who, let's be honest. Let's play Clue here. Who did it? Who done it? I'm going to be honest. I think she's probably more insufferable because, or not insufferable. She must have done more because he wouldn't be stupid enough to take her to court if there was evidence that he did well, some she shit. Was stupid enough, she was stupid enough to say, he beat me up, <laughs> like, in front of everyone for, like, five years. Well, she, so she yeah, she wrote that op-ed, right, in the, in the New York Times or whatever. And, that, and that's what he's suing her over, right? Anyway, he, she wrote this article about how she's a survivor of domestic abuse. And then, basically, it was heavily implied. It was heavily implied that it was from her ex-husband or whatever. So. Had they already divorced? Didn't they just get married in, like, 2015? I don't know. You know how fast, that, sure you know how fast that shit happens. I'm, I've never been married or divorced, but, yeah. I can only imagine. Hollywood, baby. Any, anyways, but, like... He, he must know something that she doesn't know or that, that, like that we don't know because that like why know? like why would I wouldn't sue somebody if I knew what there was evidence for me to lose the case wouldn't we say that he's got some shit on her and she's got some shit on his bed yeah that is that ever. that's fair to say how anyway down bad like how how angry do you have to be to go into their bedroom <laughs> just try <laughs> It's just really like, I think he was in the bathroom. I mean, there's probably more than one bathroom in his penthouse, but like. Dude, and I'm pretty sure. Just really had to go. Bro, I'm pretty sure she tried to blame it on the dogs too. You have to remember they have like hey. they have like literally five pound teacup like dogs. They're they're like literally what, this. What? The they're dogs? like this big, bro. Dude, I, a dude, a human shit is this wide, bro, and like this long. <laughs> It's a collaborative effort, bro. Five dogs all shit at the same time in the same place. Dude, like, like how, like, be, like, 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 how batshit crazy do you have to be? Boom tish. Quite, it would sound like. What if yeah. he did it? What if he shit on his bed and blamed it on her? <laughs> I, I mean, you never know. You never know. He was just embarrassed. Wait, but didn't he her, didn't her friend, did, didn't her friend do it with him, too? Do it with him? No, I like think they, they like, both shit on the bed. I think there was two logs of crap on the bed. <laughs> double, double, double decker, baby. <laughs> double dookie. <laughs> Duker. Double duker. <laughs> double duker on his, on his, on his uh, quilt. Dude, he, he just seems like such a show guy. Like, Imagine he's still asleep when that shit happens. He just wakes up. He's like, what the fuck? He just goes, he, he wakes up. He's like, he's like, I smell shit. <laughs> He smells like shit in here. What the fuck? <laughs> right on his chest. He like flips the sheet off and slaps it to the wall. He slaps him to the wall across the room. He's like, what the shit? <laughs> Literally, what the shit? So what did Amber hear, though? Pardon? Amber heard what she hear. Not much, obviously. <laughs> she heard she's going Man. to jail. She's going to jail for... <laughs> You're locked her up. Yeah. The clanker. Dude, there's no place on this. There's no place on earth for a girl like that besides the clank. The streets. They belong to the streets. Future. Future? Yeah, future, bro. Future. Like the rapper? <laughs> yeah. Love that guy. I don't know him personally. Did you, did you listen to his new album? Nope. Of course, you, of course you did. Is it good? No. It was kind of mid. It was kind of mid. It was kinda mid. Glad I didn't listen to it then. <laughs> <laughs> don't waste your time. And I've been busy listening to my favorite Chinese musicians. Okay, how about... I sure love China. How about... And Ke- Taiwan is not a country. How about Kendrick Lamar? Who? You you listen to Kendrick Lamar's new album when it comes out. You, you think... Okay, be, be straight with me. I think, didn't tell you a single song by him. I, yikes. That's that's hard. that's rough, I'm my sure man. I heard it, but... <laughs> that's that's rough, my man. Uh, you should have heard the new, uh, the new... That new song by Imagine Dragons. Radioactive. Yeah, do you like Imagine Dragons? 
You feel like imagining me dragging my nuts across your face, bro? Uh, of course I do. Of course I do. Oh. <clears throat> oh? Okay, okay. Oh? Oh? Oh, do you hear that, guys? Wait. I'm in? I'm in, guys? I'm in? So, uh, so tell... Okay. Well, okay, okay, okay. I guess we're done talking about Amberhood. Let's get back on track here. Okay. Amber Turd. All right, t- tell me about tell me about the new job. Tell me about... Amber Turd. How about we talk about your new job? What, what are you saying? What are you saying? You don't got to tell us where you work. Working hard. Hardly working. No, mostly working hard. What, what are you uh, saying? What are you saying? Are you... Are you... <laughs> Never. Uh, let's... Uh... Doing the cybernetic transformation to become a superhuman. <laughs> That's what I was heavily <laughs> implying. I was wondering. I, I... <laughs> Dude, they're adding. I don't know if you guys have heard, but in, <laughs> in big chain uh, stores where they push shopping carts, they're actually adding rails and then they're, they're cybernetically <laughs> putting wheels on the bottom of our feet so that we can just grab the carts and turn on our, our rear boosters and just we launch up to the front with like 12 carts. Push in, the like, carts? Five seconds. And, and how much money is that going to save the company? Oh, none. It's just fun. Oh, I thought it was all no, about the it's, it's all I thought... about profit. It's all about profit. Because we, if they do that, you realize they can lay off all of them and just have two card pushers. Right. And they'll just they'll and they'll also save money by not giving them breaks or like sleep and like just keeping them at the facility locked up in the back. Do, do you think? Open. Do you think? Do you think that if there wasn't enough, if there wasn't much uproar, do you think that the big corporation would get rid of carts just to be able to save money on workers for just pushing carts? Really? <laughs> do you think yeah, do you can't carry the product? Do you do you think you eventually it, it. do you think in six months they'll tell us that grocery carts are ruining the planet and we have to get rid of them? Yeah. <laughs> they're just gonna give you like you get to the door and they're gonna give you like I don't even know, they give you like a basket, like a laundry hamper, and you carry <laughs> your stuff in it. And then when you get out of the door, they like they don't let you walk out with it. They grab it and say, Take your stuff out. Pull your car up front and we'll give it to you. But or or just or just out. like or just like shitty big corporation like getting rid of people like like doing your your cash register and they're just saying oh yeah. it's because it's COVID safe. In reality, they you just don't want to. They just don't want. They just don't want to pay anybody to do it anymore. Well, hey, self checkouts don't need breaks. <laughs> self checkouts don't need breaks. <laughs> Wages, food, buddy. They just need oil, oil and gears, bud. <laughs> oil and gears. They don't need um. They don't need air conditioning. <laughs> Man, it's genius. It's literally genius. It is genius. It's I can't literally... wait to be turned into Lobot from Star Wars, <laughs> so I can calculate the totals without even having to use a cash register. Dude, they're they gonna they're gonna click on my nipple and go. They're gonna and then pull the money out. They're gonna like. <laughs> they're gonna remove your eyes and put like a <laughs> laser disc <laughs> eye around here, <laughs> so you could so you could just grab something, ching ching ching, you could scan it with your <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah, I just I just. Take their basket and go, <laughs> and like, like all my fingers are like on it, their little individual joints with like mini fingers at the front. So I just put my hands on it, flips them all so the barcodes are facing me, and, go, <laughs> and then I go, your total is seventy three, whatever. And then they give me the cash and I go <laughs> out my mouth with the change, or I just go <laughs> in their hand and it falls out. <laughs> Insert card here. Okay, so here here's a question for you. Here's a question for you. I do take that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like to be tapped too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's a question: Would you would you rather be cleaning diapers out of a garbage bin, or would you prefer to be working in an AC cooled retail building? Well, what do they pay? Whatever get, pays more, I guess. You get you get paid double the amount at the retail store. What well, do you? I don't work in retail. Couldn't be me. Wait, wait. Actually, here, wait. What if they get paid the same amount? What are you picking? So you're asking me what if I'd rather be outside picking up steamers in a steamer of the day, <laughs> or if I'd rather be in an air conditioned building doing like what? Like talking I don't people? know, talking to people, stacking shelves. Unbearable. Give me the steamers. <laughs> Give me the steamers. <laughs> nothing like a big, nothing like a big D room. steamer. Am I right? A big D steamer, amber turd level steamer. Yeah, dude, that's true, bro. That's how she goes, bro. That's, crazy. That's how she goes. That's so are you crazy. excited for the new uh, Fortnite season coming out in a month? Um, no, they no, how to play the game no. And they had a dumb mechanic. What? Which dumb mechanic? There's like a lot of dumb mechanics. They already removed building. I think they're gonna remove guns next. 
<laughs> Dude, they're gonna turn the game into. They're gonna build the turn the game into Minecraft. They're gonna bring Dude, they're build. Gonna they're gonna bring building mobs. back and get rid of my and get rid of guns. <laughs> Only building. Yeah. <laughs> you get pickaxes and swords. Actually, pickaxes are already in the game. Shit. All right. They need to become Minecraft. Less pixels. This is true. I mean, you play on Switch, so there's not much less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I play, play Pac-Man. You're over here playing Fortnite. You look up at my screen and you just see Pong. I'm like, are, I'm like, are, are you even in game, bro? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm going hard. Oh, this guy's building. This guy's building. I got a cherry. <laughs> like Pac-Man's going. Um. All right. I think I think I'm running out of topics here. Um. Are you? So you got Fortnite. I love you don't, Fortnite. You, that's the only I've game you play. Fortnite. You play Minecraft and Fortnite. Uh, I'm a gamer. I'm a hardcore gamer. What can I say? I sink minimum 14 hours a day into Minecraft and 12 hours a day into Fortnite every day. Long, but it's a long night in the office. Long night in the office, always. Always, my friend. Homework ain't gonna do itself. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean we've we've been going here for 45 minutes now. Mm. It's pretty I good. I don't usually last that long. No, no, but I'd be the best. Listen, I'm usually the best 10 minutes you'll ever have in your whole life. There you go. Not even. I let, you know what? Honestly, that's that's even that's being stretched now. I'm like, best one minute of your whole life. <laughs> and it'll be a good 30 seconds. What can I say? And, actually, and you know what? I can't even say that. It might be the best one minute of my life. <laughs> it'll be the <laughs> most mediocre minute of your life. Bro. I guarantee Medi- it. Mediocre for me. I can I can put a money back guarantee that it's gonna be the most mediocre thirty seconds of your life, but I'm gonna have a blast from the beginning to the finish. With a blast to the finish. That that's almost what that, is... that's what you might be able to say about this podcast. The most mediocre forty five minutes of your whole life. You know, if you don't find it mediocre, I'll give you all your money back. If you find it good, I'm not. What is wrong with you? We're not. Ask. <laughs> If you find this good, why, why are you not doing other hey, shit? If you find this good, you think you're you must think you're a sigma and you're just as severely ill as I am. <laughs> Guys, we're all on the sigma grind set here. What can I say? Yeah, bro. I'm on casting couch. Eleven fifteen p.m. My ass blown out. I got to get up at six a.m. tomorrow to go to work. But, nice. but but here we are. We're grinding. The grind on, never stops. Bro. I'm on the I'm on the sigma grind set, bro. Dentist told me I grind in my sleep. He reels for it. <laughs> hey, doctor says I grind in my sleep. <laughs> no, not that way, not that way. They're gonna see your sweatpants. <laughs> bro. If you're wearing pants. Dude, I was wondering how the how the dentist knew I was grinding in my sleep, bro. Who do you think, bro, who was grinding on you? Yeah, bro, I didn't know how he knew. Yeah, bro. Nine out of ten dentists recommend this big deal. Big D, bro. Big D toothpaste, my favorite brand. I Dude. won't put it in my mouth. So yeah, 40, 48 minutes. Are we stretching this to one hour? You got something to say? You got something to ask me? You got a topic to talk about? Have you been to the pyramids of Giza? And by that I mean Bass Pro Shop Pyramid. Uh, I don't think that's the next boys trip. Uh, I don't know if I've been to that one. That's in Vegas, isn't it? I was just about to look that up. Where is it? Because we should do that for the next guy's trip. <laughs> on Like, on ironically. Listen, yes. can I be 100% honest with you? What's up? I, I don't bass, I don't pro, and I don't shop. Man. It's in Memphis. Wait. You don't even fish? Oh, I do fish. I do do that. I guess, that is, that's, fair. That, that's a fair. That's a fair statement. So you bass? Do you pro and shop? No, I'm not a pro. And I'm broke as shit, and I don't shop. Fair enough, fair enough. That, that's why. That's why I'm on Discord at a, at 11:15 p.m. talking to your dumbass about <laughs> about Amber her, Amber her shitting on a bed. We're we're too busy talking about how Marvel's going down in the stinker, just like Johnny Depp's bed. Listen, He's listen. Out doing fun stuff on a Monday night. What is it? Monday? Monday night. Listen. How about this? How about this? If we get 10 views on this, I'll bring I'll bring a special guest on the next episode. Parker Cumslanger, and uh, or or you, we might even we might even be able to get uh, Shaggy Shaggy Two Dope on here, Shaggy Two Dope. I think if we get twenty likes, we ask Amber Heard to come on the podcast. Yeah, and bro. Give her I'll, I'll tweet her. Sure. I'll tweet her, and we'll get an exclusive interview with Amber Turd. <laughs> See what she's. Shit with that ass. <laughs> 
Hey, welcome to the shit show. You feel like you belong here. You ever the see that thing? It's like, damn, plays. damn, do we eat pussy like that? <laughs> you ever seen that one? Imagine you see Amber Heard, you're like, yeah, damn, you girl, do you sh- like damn, girl, you, you shit on beds ass. with that ass? Damn. You beat men with those hands? <laughs> You should right. tweet her and ask for bit deep pics to we get more than uh, two likes on the video. <laughs> Me and you. We're both going to like it. <laughs> we're going to like your own <laughs> well, I don't know if we're going to like it. This, is sh- this might be shit. Who knows? Dude, we'll it's literally in the name. Dude, if people look at it and they realize, if it's literally called the Shitty Show Podcast and they still watch it, bro, that's on them. How about this? If you guys in the comments, if you can guess how many times... Both of us have scratched our nuts in this situation. <laughs> we will do a face reveal in the next uh, video. I lost count. I lost count. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, dude. I'm not going to. Let's count around 37. Dude, it's hot here. It's hot here, bro. I got that, B- I got that BSTL bad. BSTL? Is that? Is that you, you never heard of that? Is that a payment or something? Is that an NFT? What was that? No. Yeah. No, it's called that. It's, uh, it's called that ball stuck to legs. Oh yeah, that happens. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> Balls stuck to legs. You have to peel them off. Yeah, bro. You gotta do that. <laughs> you got. Oh, I gotta see my pajama pants. Shit, I just exposed myself. Too. So, 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 tell me, Joe. Do you got anything else? Any closing remarks that you'd like to say tonight? Nope, haven't received any texts from anyone no. telling me what I should say. No. Any scripted things. Okay, how about that uh, NFL draft that's coming up? Anything you'd like to say about that? Yeah, check out my mock draft. I like mock drafts. <laughs> <laughs> There's mock draft in the back corner. We're going to mock draft. Last mock draft. I don't Are you know sure? I'm going to be honest. What the fuck is a mock draft? I think that's Last like... Last time I heard mock is referring to a Lego my own creation. <laughs> <laughs> you know um, no, I'm a Lego guy. Can't you tell I'm a loser, bro? Look at it. I got all these gay ass action figures, bro. I'm a loser. <laughs> That's base, bro. Oh my so, on the other side of the wall. I can't turn around there. You might see my my ten inch <laughs> toes on the desk in front of me. Um. So yeah, mock draft. I'm thinking next episode oh, we bring Kurt Slinger. No. <laughs> we bring Kurt Slinger, Shaggy, Two Dope, Amber Heard, and we do a mock draft. We do a mock draft and a face reveal. Mock draft. Face, I think mock episode. draft before the big mock draft next week. We'll do a mock oh, draft. This. Oh, this every yeah. We'll, do, well, we have to do the mock draft first. Um, but I vote every like we get, uh, we undo one button each. <laughs> I'll, every, do fir- I'll do the first. I'll do the first. I'll do the first one for free. I'll do the second four for. Free. All right. Yeah. I think as we go on, we'll just get more and more naked. <laughs> And then, awesome. and then eventually we'll, we'll be, and then eventually we'll be stuck streaming on Cam Soda. Yeah, bro. If I get over, if we get over fifty likes on our first video, I will do. Can I do a nipple reveal on YouTube? I probably can't do that. I will. I will. You could. Sh- you could show him your. You could show him your third nipple. My third nipple? Oh yeah, I got a zit right above my nipple from my backpack strap. How sick is that? Dude, you one strapping it or two strapping it? Be honest. Be honest with the gang. Like, what do you mean one strapping? Like, only using one of the two straps? Yeah. I gotta be honest with you, bro. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm an absolute Chad who gets all the babes, but I have a backpack that only has one strap on it. Oh, ouch! I'm kind of a bad boy. I, I also own a skateboard. I've used it twice. That's why I'm <laughs> a bad boy. All right. <laughs> and I haven't right. even sit on it yet. I think I think this is where we're gonna close it for the the shitty show. Shitty show test episode one. This is gonna be posted and. The shitting, shitting, the, sh- the shitting, the shitting of the di- the big D. This is gonna be this podcast this is gonna be posted in some crevice of the internet. No one, no one Again. will find it to eventually we die and then it will blow up and we'll make millions of dollars yeah. while we're dead in the ground. How about instead of posting it, we just print it out on like a CD, bury that shit in the time capsule for a hundred years. Until our great grandchildren. I mean, I'm not gonna have. And then, and then, and then, in a hundred years, a hundred years, they'll use it as a presentation on extreme mental health issues. <laughs> they'll go back in 2022 before the zombie outbreak. We had people roaming the streets like this psychopath, and this psychopath. Look at him in his in their Hawaiian shirts. Yeah, bro. Buttons All right. undone. <clears throat> All right. All right. Listen, this has been the shitty show. It's been fun. 
I'm going towards the nipple. Dude, he's doing it. He's about to expose himself. I'm thinking about doing it on stream, first episode. All right. Gotta, any, gotta any, any, any closing remarks? You got, you got three things to say. What, what do you, oh, what do you guys talk say? about? Elon buying Twitter. Do we? Should we talk about that? Bro. <clears throat> okay, we got five minutes. We'll do five minutes on Elon Musk buying Twitter. We got. All right. Uh, you know what? You're muted. Can't hear you. Sorry, I had to. F I'm gonna be honest. I had to fart, so I muted for a second. <laughs> Yeah, what's the point of muting well, you? Yeah. You just tell us that you farted right after. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of embarrassed myself and forgot to unmute anyways. It's, so so listen. No so, that. so basically this. We'll start with this. Florida based for banning teachers from talking about their sexuality. Does yeah, this is this is care. on topic. I hate to worry too. The kids are in school to learn, not to <clears throat> Yeah. Find out if you like so, men or women. Sorry or, that you're a ginormous pedophile. Gone. Disney parents, pedophiles, uh Twitter <laughs> users un on like unfathomably retarded autistic can't i can't even can bear that. yeah I, I don't know i don't know if i can say that but it's so unfathomably disgustingly gross like complete twitter. ass water individuals on twitter and honestly i don't, I don't even awesome. care what happens with twitter i don't even care if it gets better honestly i'm just happy to see all these shitty people that think that they are some sort of important to the great the great world that is they think just because they can write 140 characters on their little Twitters, I'm just so <laughs> glad that they can just, they just hate their lives so much. And you know what? I got on Twitter when it first was announced, and I seen this girl, and she's like, oh, actually, it was no, I didn't even go on Twitter. <clears throat> it was posted on my newsfeed, and it was like, yada, 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 never heard of you, Har. You don't matter to anybody on this planet at all. Literally, she's like, uh, sorry that today I'm going to be officially leaving Twitter. This will be my last okay. tweet. It's like, don't care. Didn't ask. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Don't need Sign your sh up. don't need your shitty takes anymore. Like I was just supposed <clears> to say, <throat> I would literally give Elon Musk like ten bucks for one thing. Hmm? Remove one singular user because I keep getting freaking notifications. I don't know why from this person who I don't even know what they post, but their name I can't say it because I don't want to dox them. But I can't see their address. No. Uh, their name is has Clance in it. I'm not sure if you know what Clance is. It's the name of a pairing of two guys from Voltron, a show that ended like four <laughs> years ago. And this person's still posting Voltron gay fan fictions, and I get notifications in my email. My email. And I'm about like, checking Twitter? my email. Okay. <laughs> this it's like Clance something something has posted a tweet. I I blocked them on Twitter. I still get the notification. <laughs> Dude, oh. dude, you can be honest if you like Voltron gay fan fiction. You can be honest. I, I like all kinds of gay fan fiction, so, especially just, furries. I mean, why since, is it in my notification? Since, since we're on, <laughs> since we're on the topic, what kind of gay smut you into these days? <laughs> I've been reading, um, I've been reading The Fault in My Ass Crack recently. <laughs> yeah, dude, I know The Fault in Your Ass Crack. There's a giant crack in it, buddy. That's The Fault in yeah, Your Ass. I hope, I hope no one accidentally breaks it. It's already cracked. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a leak in it. Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie daisy, buddy. It's got a hole in it. Oh no. <laughs> so uh, it has a hole in it. Okay. So so what's what's your take on the Elon Twitter? Uh, I like Elon Musk. Teslas look pretty clean. Um, I like to watch them when I'm pushing carts. <laughs> Teslas look pretty clean. They look uh, clean on the. They look clean. Do you ever get the un unlike unresistible urge to just slam a cart into the rear end of one of them? Into a Tesla, yeah. You know, you break it, you buy it. So if it means I get to own a Tesla, you do it. You'll do it. I mean, I would slam myself over the hood of a car. I would let someone slam me over the hood of a Tesla for a Tesla. What? N not like that way. So, like... so, so you're just saying because you like Elon, you're happy by Twitter. You don't. Do you have any yeah, opinion I'm about like, opinion like about just shitty the deer meme? Just shitty people like on. Oh, that's never gonna change. That's Twitter. But but do you are you at least happy that uh, like they're just getting like a taste of their own medicine? Like does that make you a yeah, little bit happy? Yeah, it's funny. I kind of hope Elon Musk buys Twitter and then he just like deletes it. Dude, I heard that he's also getting rid of bots on Twitter. He's getting rid of bots, he's getting rid of censorship. Wow, Donald Trump might make a Twitter account, eh? Dude, I sent, that. Didn't dude, he get banned like during his pres presidency. Yep, the old DT, the big DT. Didn't. Uh, What's wrong with getting rid of censorship? What's wrong with that? 
as far as I know, nothing. So why is why are, why are on they this podcast, dude? Yeah, are we posting this on Telegram only? I think we're posting this on. Um, What's that one? What's that one that the the Republican? Vimeo. Post this on Vimeo. Oh, I don't know what they use. <clears throat> they let's use. Is Vine still around? Dude, let's post this on. Uh, let's post this on MySpace, bro. On your space or MySpace? MySpace. I think Netflix will upload this. Okay, what would your grandmother say if she saw this? Um, would she be highly disappointed? Honestly, I think we actually kept it kind of contained. It hasn't been that bad. I think we kind of kept it, it contained. It hasn't been that bad, yeah. I think she would be a little disappointed. Like, she definitely wouldn't look at me the same, but I think she wouldn't disown me for it. She'd probably be Hopefully. like, do you think they'd be like, yeah, I kind of expected that, to be honest? You think she'd subscribe for more? Yeah, I can see that. You should put that like on there. Wait, the when, are, when are we starting the shitty podcast OnlyFans? Oh... 50 likes and we'll start it now <laughs> cause like if we do that always then fans always reveals if we do that then um we can say whatever we want there right I think we can show our spread assholes if we want to <laughs> for that. dude I would do that I would do that I would do that for $250 Two, uh, that's pretty low ball on it but I mean is that to anyone like if your mom said $250 no, like, right now like, would you do it or like, no <laughs> and your face is attached. Keep mind. Sorry, if mom. Sees that Sorry, mom. You, they're gonna... Sorry, mom. Sorry, mom. Mom, no spread ass <laughs> for you. At least five hundred. Yeah, at least, at least buddy. At least, buddy. I have this... premium, bro. Nah, dude. If it was some rando on the internet, on uh, some rando on the internet, but I'd spread wide. But they would see your face too and stuff. So Don't like, care. If they want to. They Don't can care. Email your parents. No. I'd say I did it for five hundred bucks. Well, yeah, that's pretty. Uh... Your dad's just gonna be like, like you know what? When you bring the parents back into it, you know, it kind of kind of bring it back to keep it realistic. Well, like chances are, my parents are gonna find out about it, right? You ever see, uh, you ever see those those podcasts and shit where it says like the topics in brackets? I can't wait to see ours. Just say Marvel, Disney, spread asshole, <laughs> China, <laughs> dude, China internment camps, Muslim, Muslim Disney, classic. Dude, dude, spread assholes. Dude, what was that product you were telling me about earlier? Which one? The jo- Joey Soothers. Joey <laughs> <Ninja> Soothers. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, 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 what was what was your punchline? It slipped my mind for some reason. Yeah, I no, I. It on YouTube. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's Ninja shut it down here. It's it's eleven thirty now. Never mind, I can't say it. Yeah, it's bedtime, boys. Get your sleep. Get your you sleep. Stay sleep. You're going. Mm-hmm. You stay hydrated. You need to be your stay girl. hydrated. Drink water out of your Disney brand Star Wars cups, or or Disney. drink or drink your Lao Gao Mao, Lao Gao Mao. <laughs> drink. You have to drink at least three grams of lead per day. Yeah, see, you drink, drink your, your G, G fuel, fuel, Sonic G fuel. Oh, I still have one here. We didn't drink that, did we? Yeah, we'll be doing. Yeah, next episode. Wait, all right. Listen, nobody's gonna see this. Absolutely nobody's gonna watch this. But if somebody does watch it, comment. Do we do this in the Discord format, or do we do this while we're sitting on the same casting couch as Joe? Right on the casting couch. Yeah, I honestly, I think it would look really good right here. I think, I think, honest honest to God, I actually think it might be better if we do it on the couch. But this was good too. This worked. I don't know. I think if we get, I think if we get a nice wide camera view and we kind of like, you know, we like talk to each other directionally to each other and like the like we're actually like we're irrationally talking to each other it'll be like great we're, we're really talking up close to each other like you'll be with right the, with the we'll mics be i'll be holding the mic you'll be holding the mic over here i'll be holding the mic yeah <laughs> the mic down over there yeah bro all we're right for their balls all right all right, all right listen list, bro. all right listen Don't so the, this is i'm ethan that's joe joey this has been the shitty podcast. It's right. so shitty. It's so Stay shitty. shitty guys. That that probably absolutely no like continuity of what we just talked about. It was everywhere. Actually, I think it started well. We had some good points. I might even chop up the first thirty minutes into like a YouTube video alone of the shitty podcast taking on the D, <laughs> taking the D. D moments. The but, shitty podcast takes the D. But the listen, D. we're now gonna sign off. Just so you guys know, this is basically how it is when we talk anyways. It's it's pretty much just 
This shit. Maybe this a shit. Little bit more vulgar. Yeah. All right. Well, goodbye, guys. See, going, I'll see you shitty. next time. Stay shitty. Stay shitty.